Hello friends and family and welcome to the Global Pandemic Crippling Anxiety Fireside Chat, Thursday edition. And today I wanted to talk about the differences between mindfulness and meditation. And I think that sometimes this is confused by adding a third category, which is mindfulness meditation. I'm not sure quite sure what that is, but um, there is an idea, and it's not necessarily a bad idea, that you can move toward meditation through this idea of mindfulness, and that mindfulness can be done in any circumstance, uh, in any activity, and one of the examples that's often given is eating an orange or eating a strawberry and doing so mindfully. So to sit there and you take the orange and you peel it mindfully and you smell all the smells and you work your way through the orange with your full attention on the orange. And there is value in this. But it's very important for people to recognize that this is not meditation and that this has nothing to do with meditation. This has the same sort of focus involved that playing the violin or um, any other narrow focused activity would have. And so, I mean, I can do this, right? <laughs> I can take a cup of coffee and I can drink coffee mindfully. Where everything I'm doing is directing attention toward the coffee, the smell, the taste, the feel, the temperature, the action of lifting the cup to my lips and everything else. But this is an external activity and it's important to recognize that nothing external can ever be meditation. So you can be engaged in external activities like eating an orange or drinking a cup of coffee and meditating, but that is where your attention is drawn inward. So you're paying attention to the breath and you're drinking a cup of coffee or you're paying attention to sensations within the body and you're drinking a cup of coffee. Um, but the coffee itself, and likewise, the orange itself, or the act of walking, or the act of lying down, is not in itself the meditation. And this has been a, a confusion, I think, of recent years, where particularly in the West, um, but in developed parts of society, the inner city especially um, where life is very busy and we want a quick fix for things we become very attached to this idea that we can just add a layer of mindfulness to everything and that will help us in the same way that meditation does it does not it can help us begin meditation. So if you're so distracted from your coffee and your orange and all your meals that you're sitting there with your phone and scrolling through Twitter, instead of actually tasting the food you're eating, then you're essentially living in a makeshift matrix, ready player one kind of uh, structure right? You're eating to sustain yourself, but you're not even giving that activity any of your attention. Clearly, that's far removed from meditation, and it would be good to pay attention to the meals that you eat and the coffee that you drink or whatever else you do. Um, and it will be extremely difficult to begin meditating if you're so far removed from your own life activities that you can't pull yourself away from your phone for five to 10 minutes to consume a meal. So it's a good first, first step. It's a good introduction to the idea of being present. But again, that terminology, the idea of being in the present moment is a very abstract idea. And 
although it has something to do with meditation, it is not meditation in and of itself. Um, so I encourage you to actually pick up the app that I will link to at the end of this video if you haven't already done so earlier in this week. And you can practice a concrete meditation practice, eyes closed, sitting down, however you're comfortable, and uh, follow those instructions. They're very useful and they're very simple, um, and they don't require any um, <laughs> props, <laughs> as it were. Um, I hope that they're helpful to you, um, these audio clips that are included in this app. The app is um, extremely simple, unsophisticated, um, and not very flashy. And I think that that's what is beneficial about it. So give those a try, and we will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.